President Obama delivers his State of the Union speech tomorrow. He'll lay out his top plans for 2014. And we know from looking at the list of who will be sitting with the First Lady, education will likely be a big part of those plans. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman sat down today with one of tomorrow's guests. Scott? Well, Maureen, Kathy Hollowell Makel has been teaching for 16 years in D.C. The last four of them were in kindergarten. So when she got a message Friday to call Dr. Biden's office, she assumed it was a medical doctor calling about one of her students. It was Dr. Jill Biden's office, as in the wife of the vice president. That was surprise number one. Surprise number two, her presence was requested at the State of the Union. Oh, well, let me start over. I see some friends getting distracted. Let's go. Teaching may be in Kathy Hollowell Makel's blood, but these days there's plenty of adrenaline too. Oh, I'm excited out of my mind, but I'm so nervous. The DC Teacher of the Year will be sitting in the First Lady section, a reward since more than 80% of her students here at Simon Elementary advanced two or more reading levels. We know that it's, in, it's important because kids, their world opens up when they know how to read. Parents of her students have committed to reading with their children every night, and if she gets to bend the president's ear, she wants him to make a commitment to universal preschool pre-k. You hope you get a chance to say that? Mm -hmm. That's one of the things. That and the push for more full-time hiring. And I just think that every child in America deserves to have a full-time librarian, a full-time art teacher, a full-time music teacher. Her attendance means education will be more than a significant mention for the president. Other guests give us insight into other themes. Jason Collins, an openly gay basketball player, two survivors of the Boston Marathon bombing, and an Oklahoma fire chief in a town decimated by a tornado last year, all sitting alongside this enduring educator. Economic equality, though, may be the president's biggest push as he promotes his plan to shrink the overall poverty numbers. And this is really going to be a chance for the president to hit the reset button after what many critics argue was a lackluster 2013 for major legislation. In the newsroom tonight, Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. All right.